Hey guys, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. Hey everybody. Hey, so um, if you're looking to make your garden look a little bit more tropical this, uh, this summer, uh, we've got a great idea that we're gonna try out and we're gonna show you what we're gonna do. Uh, we're planting elephant ears. We're planting lots of elephant ear bulbs and they are known for their beautiful, huge foliage. Um, the kind we're gonna plant today are known to have leaves that can get as, t as high as a, even up to two feet in length and a foot wide. Yeah, huge. They're huge. They, they look like elephant ears. They're almost as big as elephant ears. So. This is Colocasia escalenta, and we got all of these bulbs sent to us from Eden Brothers in order to try out for you guys mm -hmm. and to kind of document the process and also um, come back and look at some care and whatnot as they grow. So yeah, we're gonna show you all that today. We're gonna show you what to look for and how to orient the bulb before you plant it, uh, how to plant it, and then uh, we're gonna plant it. Yeah, I know, I'm so excited <laughs> to get these in the ground. We've already got a few started in our greenhouse. So we set these aside specifically to get in the ground and this one container that we're gonna show you. So, so. if you're wondering if you can grow uh, these elephant ears or these Colocasia esculenta uh, in your area, in your garden, they grow in zones eight through 11, they like partial sun, and they like regular watering in well-draining soil. Yeah, let's take a look at the bulbs because one really big question a lot of people have is which end of the bulb is up and which end's down, like when you're yeah. planting and them. And we had to hack, we actually had to figure this out because we weren't exactly sure They're either. They're confusing, yeah. so we're gonna give you a little hack so you know if you haven't planted yours yet, hopefully this will help you. So guys, we're out here at the pallet table and uh, we're in the backyard. Here are our elephant ears. Aren't these cool these looking? Cool. You guys are so big. They look weird, don't they? They yeah. look kind of like a potato. They kind of don't look like a potato. They're they're just kind of weird looking and just gnarly. So guys, uh, which end is up and which end is down? Do you guys know? We had to take uh, we had to take a little bit of time and figure it out ourselves too. So as Allison said, there's a little hack to this. So um, the easiest one that we found is actually looking at these and saying, okay, where are concentric circles? And you can see right here, here's concentric circles. We have, we actually have these circles going all the way around and they're concentric because they're moving up this way, um, one inside of each other. And actually when you see this, this is the top of the bulb. This is, this is the part of the bulb that you wanna orient to face up. And another way to look at this too is this, if you see little nodules and little divots and things um, on one end of one of these guys or any of these guys, um, that's actually the bottom and you wanna orient these down uh, in the soil. So that's a pretty easy way to figure it out. Now some people are talking about the pointy end, the smooth end, uh, the flat end. I mean, you can see these come in all different shapes and sizes. So all those different uh, characteristics, all those different descriptions don't really matter because that doesn't make any sense. But look for the concentric circles on the top or the concentric circles and you'll know that's the top of these bulbs. So something else uh, that's kind of funny is that there's a lot of references to elephant ears as corms, as uh, tuberous roots, as rhizomes. Uh, these are actually classified by the American Horticulture Society and uh, Eden Brothers as tubers. These are tubers, that's a type of bulb. All right, you guys, we've got all, actually we have five bulbs here, but we're only planting three of these today. And the reason why is because we want to put two of them over here in our terrace area and it is not right done there. yet. Nope, we haven't gotten to it yet. You know, there's been other priorities. I know. And other projects. Other you know, projects. So. so we're building dahlia beds right now and then this is next project in line. So we were like, oh, we took some time up here and we were trying to figure out where to put them and we just couldn't figure it out. So yep. we're going to leave two of those off to the side. Yep. And we're gonna, what we're planning on doing is getting those potted up and keeping those in our greenhouse and getting them growing and then they'll be ready to, to move. Yep, hopefully the terrace will be ready. Hopefully the terrace will be ready. So we've got three bulbs. We're gonna put one in a container we're gonna start with. We'll show you in just a sec. And the other two are gonna go in our front yard to make a beautiful tropical display. So let's head so on over. Let's head on over everybody. So here we go. We've got this really cool planter over here that my mom gave us that actually my dad cast years ago. And, and cement and made this whole cool planter. Yeah, look at that, you guys. And she wasn't using it, and we really, wa really wanted it. So yeah, that looks awesome. This is going to look so cool with an elephant ear coming out of it. I can't wait. And the cool part is that we might not keep it in this location, but we can always move it, right? Because it's a container. That's right. So we've picked our elephant ear bulb that we're going to place in this container. I know. Look, you guys, it's already sprouting. Yeah, look cool. at that. Isn't that cool? So to do to that live. properly, so you might see on the instructions uh, for Eden Brothers, where we got these, by the way, EdenBrothers.com, uh, look up elephant ears, that's where we got these. Um, 
It says on there, there's a couple different instructions for planting. In it. So it first says on EdenBrothers.com to plant these bulbs four to six inches deep. But if you look further down uh, the instructions, it actually says when you're done planting these bulbs, when you're done planting them, the tip top of this bulb should only be one to two inches below the soil surface when you're all done. So to interpret all that for you, uh, basically dig a hole, dig down four to six inches deep, refill the hole because you want the soil around the bulb nice and loose. Then when you plant this in the soil, you want to make sure that this tip of this bulb is only two to one to two inches deep in that four to six inch hole. So you're loosening the soil down deep so it has a really easy time of spreading out its roots and growing for the year with this tip one to two inches deep. Hope that makes sense. So we're going to plant our bulb in nicely loose soil so we don't have to dig down that deep. We're going to show you that uh, out front when we go out front to dig these into the ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Corona hand tool here, my hand trowel, and I'm going to get to the three inch mark because we're going to go to another inch down from the three inch mark from the top uh, of the rim of this uh, container because we want to have a reservoir of where the water is uh, when we water so it doesn't just spill over the side. So we're going to leave an inch uh, of space between the top of this pot and the soil level. So we're going to measure down an inch. Then we're going to go down two more inches to get the right depth for this bulb. So right now I need to make sure that this bulb and this tip goes down to about this level right here. So, so guys, before we plant the bulb in the hole that we just measured down, uh, we wanna show you, this is bulb tone. This is an actual fertilizer that Espoma puts together and it's great because you put it in the hole before you actually plant your bulb um, and it just helps the bulb really get established. It helps keep it nice and healthy. Now this is actually a fertilizer and you can see there's the analysis. It's a 353 analysis, that's your NPK nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. And so this is gonna be a nice natural fertilizer for the bulb to really get some great nutrients and stay nice and healthy and get a really good start. So let's open this up. And it says about a, a heaping teaspoon. Uh, we are gonna use our equivalent to a teaspoon maybe. <laughs> and let's do, maybe that's a heaping teaspoon. What do you think, honey? Yeah, it's, it's about a teaspoon and a half, which is, yeah, what you're... Okay, and we're just going to yeah, sprinkle it in there. sprinkle it in there. Ooh, smells good. It's got some good stuff in it. Yep. So, okay, seal that back up, put it aside. All right, here we go. Let's plant this, let's plant this bad boy here. So here we go. So here's our, let's make sure that we are doing this right, just to make sure here. So measure on the three inch, down an inch, because that's going to be our reservoir for water and the soil level and down two more inches. Just got a rough estimate, a uh, rough guess here. There's the tip down to this. Let's go a little bit down, a little bit more. And there we go. I think we got it. So let's cover it up and we'll get some more That's soil so cool. in here. So yeah, we, and if you guys remember, we, we want it to be about an inch or two below the ground so it's gonna add a little more soil. And we'll remeasure just to make sure because that's, that's why we have this, uh, one of the reasons we have our hand trowel with the measurements on it so we can measure that stuff. I'm gonna pat this down because I wanna get a true measurement of that depth over our, over our bulb. Okay, so let's do that. So let's do an inch. Now, nope, gotta go a little bit further. Looks like we got a planter. Yeah, I'm so excited that yep. we are. I love this planter. I'm so excited for this to grow. Um, one question a lot of people have is how long does it take elephant ears to sprout? So it could be anywhere. What we found is from one to three weeks, yep. maybe a little longer, depending on, you know, your your outside temperatures, just soil temperature, soil definitely. temperature yep. and the location you choose. We have a partly sunny, partly yeah. uh, a shady location right now. It's very shady but in later in the afternoon, it gets full sun exposure. So it'll get really warm over here. Um, our next step is just water it in and then wait and see. So here we go. We're gonna nicely water this in. Um, let's just get this nice and Now the trick here. is not to overwater it, right? Cause we don't want to like saturate the bulb or like- Have it rot have on Have it rot. Yeah. I know that's yeah. happened to some of our friends yeah. that we know and um, yeah, so that would be bad. They need, elephant ears are gonna need a lot of water after they do start growing. So right now we're just trying to encourage it to wake up. Yep, we're not gonna try and soak 
the whole soil profile. We just want to stimulate it. It's got a little stimulation already with that growing point, but this is really going to help it really wake up and get it growing. Okay, you guys, we're out here in our front yard and you can see Sean way up there. He's getting our getting some holes prepped for the two elephant ear bulbs we're gonna plant in the ground. Yep. And we had to really take into consideration out here where the sun was, where it tracks, and where's more partial shade. And we're finding that it's, I mean, we already know, but it's mainly, mainly up here. So yeah. we have a lot of full sun in our yard. So if we wanna put them out here, we've gotta kinda of tuck them up back here a little bit. Yep. This will be a good spot. Yeah, this will be great. And we're, uh, we're placing them in locations where they're gonna add more privacy, but then also their lush green tropical growth. So it's kind of a double win. I know, I like this. So what do you have, what are we doing here? Are we so, getting a four to six inch hole? Yep, yeah, so we've got a nice uh, four to six inch hole here and taking into consideration the uh, mulch depth, um, which you should do if you, if you don't, you should, because that's the actual depth of the soil surface. Um, until it reaches, you know, you got the, the start of the soil really is the mulch and then it goes down. So we'll use that as our measurement to go down for the total uh, depth to plant our, uh, our elephant ear. And so you found the concentric rings, right? Yep, there's the rings right there, you guys. Oh, there you Look yep. at it. So that's the top. Yep, and so we'll just, we're, we're not going to place this just yet, but what we're going to do is just try it out, see how far down we are. So that is... That's pretty good. We're about we're about an inch and a half, maybe two inches down from oh, that that's tip. Perfect. So yeah, so we're good to go. Um, I'll we... dig out that other uh, that other hole, but we just need to throw need in the bulb tone, the bulb tone yep. and then we're done. You. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. So we're gonna take that out. We will use our our not so teaspoon measure and uh, get that. There we go. Yeah, all right, looking good. Yeah. And we'll take our bulb, concentric circles, and then we'll get that in there looking good. And then we'll just bury it, make sure it's nice and buried there. And there we go, you guys. Oh, we really need to mark this. Yes. We're going to forget. So I'm going to go grab some steaks, you guys, while oh. Sean gets the next hole ready. Okay. Oh, yeah, good idea. I'll use that until we can actually get some steaks. That's a great over. idea. We'll add a steak in a minute. There we go. Okay, yep. cool. Cool. All right, so bulb number three. So, yep, and so funny thing, guys, over here, the mulch depth, the thickness of the mulch here is a lot thicker than it was over in that other hole. So, again, take that in consideration because if you don't, you possibly could be burying your uh, elephant ears or any other type of bulb too far down. And you don't want to do that because there's a good chance if you go too far down, it's not going to come up. You won't see it. So, and we want to see these. So, yes, we do. let's get digging here. We can't wait to update you guys on this when, as we start growing and uh, we'll do some care videos and a plant chat. We always do our Friday plant chat. So we'll, we'll definitely see a lot more of these coming up. Oh yeah. Yep. These aren't the only ones we have uh, either to plant or that are already grown right now. We've already planted, so. We're growing, I think, nine elephant ear bulbs this year. Something like from that. From Eden Brothers. Yeah. So, uh, we've got it down there. Uh, we've got the bulb tone in there. The bulb's ready to go. Let's just bury it now and tuck it in yep I'll tuck her in and then we'll water it water both of them and uh we'll wait and see one to three weeks hopefully not even a three weeks here's our marker maybe we'll do two markers on this one because these are a little bit smaller okay you guys we accomplished that task we got them planted in yeah. one in a container two in the front yard and the other two we're going to plant and we're not going to show you that on camera. We did do another video a few weeks back where we planted all of our dahlias and we potted them up. Yep. And those are actually sprouting in the greenhouse yep. as well. And some so. elephant ears were part yeah, of Yeah, we did do some, and some caladiums, right? Oh yeah. I think we did caladiums yep, I too. think so too, yeah. So guys, uh, when you're planting these out, especially uh, between each other and other plants, make sure to space them about two to four feet apart. Wow. And yeah, so they get big, yeah. right? I mean, they get big. So keep that in consideration when choosing a planting location and then actually putting them in those locations. And if you guys are looking for any more help about planting um, tips about for bulbs or for 
uh, seedlings or even seeds. We have an entire chapter dedicated in our brand new book that just came out a couple weeks ago. Our book's called The First Time Gardener Growing Plants and Flowers. And chapter four of our book covers all different types of planting techniques, um, planted steps, tips, hacks, and all kinds of things. Yeah, and guys, if you've already bought our book, thank you so much thank for your you. support. We truly appreciate it. Uh, we wanted to ask you too, if you've already bought our book, please leave us a review on either Amazon or the other on online retailer where you bought it. We'd really appreciate that too. Really appreciate it. We yeah, thank you so much in advance. And with that, uh, go ahead and leave your comments and questions down below for us. We love hearing from you guys. Any question at all about what we did today or further clarification, we'll get right to it. And uh, also make sure to subscribe to our channel so you get updates on our latest garden care videos. Thank you guys for being here and for watching today. We really appreciate it. And if you're looking for elephant ear bulbs, click down below in our Eden Brothers link and we have a coupon for you, 15% off. Mm -hmm. You need to type in spoken, all one word, S-P-O-K-E-N, right at checkout in the coupon code line. So click down below to get there. And then again, use your code spoken for 15% off your entire order. Yep, that takes care of tax. Everything, yeah. doesn't even have to be elephant ear bulbs. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys and we'll see you next time. See you next time guys. Bye everybody. Bye bye.